and uh, we get a crazy decimal. Um, on all of your calculators, uh, assuming you're using a nice scientific one, you'll have a button like this, mine is math frac, and it'll put it in a fraction of the lowest term. So I get 1 15th. Now, the last step in order to figure out what fraction will give you something that's equal to 0 0.16 repeating is, now add this to the portion of the original decimal that did not repeat. This will work every single time. It is kind of systematic. You need to follow a couple of these steps, but if I take this one tenth and I add it to one fifteenth and I put that into my calculator, I should get that decimal. So let's add those together and see what we get. One tenth plus one fifteenth. Let's get ourselves a common denominator. I'm going to do one out of, or oops, not one. I'm going to do something out of 30. You could have picked a higher one, but try to pick the lowest common denominator. I have to multiply 15 by 2, so I multiply the 1 by 2. I have to multiply this by 3. I get 5 out of 30, or in lowest terms, that's 1 sixth. Okay. Now, just to show you how that all worked, if I get 1, if I go 1 divided by 6, I should get 0 0.16666, where that keeps repeating forever. Let's see. Beautiful thing. If you're wondering why that seven's there at the end, it's just that the calculator only goes to a certain amount of decimal places, and then what it does is it rounds that the six that's kind of right over here up to a seven. Okay. So that concludes this unit.